Welcome back guys, this is Marvin from ShopSadaPage.com and today we're going to do a review of my new editing monitor with a gorgeous IPS panel, the Acer R230H. Let's get to it. So out of the box, you're going to get the monitor itself and the included stand right here. You will also get a 3.5mm jack cable that you can use for the audio in port at the back. You will also get a VGA cable just in case your machine doesn't have an HDMI port. Speaking of the HDMI port, the package doesn't include an HDMI cable and that's a little bit disappointing. So let's move on. I'll pop the specifications of this monitor on the screen so you can check it out and we'll discuss its key features later. But for the meantime, let's talk about its design. So this is the 23 inch model so it has a small black border around it but the monitor itself is almost frameless with a little bit of chin here. The side of the monitor is about half an inch thin excluding the parts where the ports are located. Speaking of the ports, we have the HDMI, DVI, VGA, audio in, and the power port. By the way guys, the 3.5mm port here is for audio in only. So if you're planning to use this with a headphone or a speaker, that wouldn't work. Another downside of this monitor is that it doesn't have a VESA mounting option. Back at the front, we have this cool design for the stand but unfortunately, you can only tilt it up and down, left or right using the stand, but no option to adjust its height. Moving on to the bottom right corner, we have the menu buttons, where you can adjust the volume and all of the settings of the monitor. What I love about this is that it has presets for different kinds of purpose like watching movies, graphics for editing and gaming, standard, echo mode, and your own user preset. Now, let's discuss the quality of the display of this monitor. Which for me is the reason why I got this. This monitor is one of the most affordable IPS monitor out there that is good for editing photos and videos as well as for general media consumption like watching videos, movies, and stuff like that, as well as casual gaming. As an IPS panel, it does a pretty good job on color reproduction and great viewing angles. It has a 60Hz refresh rate with 4 milliseconds response time which is decent enough for casual gamers like me. It has a brightness of around 250 nits with a matte screen finish to minimize the reflections and maximize the quality of the display. As I've mentioned, viewing angle is awesome for this monitor because of its IPS panel. I'm going to tilt the screen so you can see how awesome it is when it comes to maintaining its color and brightness even on an extreme angle. As you can see, the quality of the display doesn't change. You can buy a dedicated monitor for video editing with 100% RGB color accuracy, but that usually costs more. And you can also buy a dedicated monitor for gaming with higher refresh rate and response time, but that also costs more. So this monitor sits right between a good editing and gaming monitor. And if you're like me who frequently edits photos and videos and also does gaming on a casual basis and also on a tight budget, then this is definitely the one for you. And there you have it guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link on the description below. I'm also going to put a link to where you can get this monitor. Subscribe if you like this and see you next time. Thank you. Have a great day.